Dr. Preeti, a beautiful reference picked by you. So, in comparison to the reference, I think the drawing is little, uh, I wouldn't say it's off, but the vase is comparatively bigger than uh, the uh, remaining elements when we compare the total height. But it's okay. Uh, other than that, that, I think the drawing is fine. Let's take one element at a time. So, uh, I'm start with the vase here. So the vase, the vase is almost like three fourths in uh, shadow side, whereas uh, one fourth is in light, and there is a very strong light hitting around this area. So you have painted it uh, accordingly. There is a strong light, and the th three fourth area is in dark. Now, what happened is you merged some of this white till the end. So the white is not merged here. This one, this area is pretty warm and uh, a very saturated brownish color. So here, this because you merge to soften the highlight, the saturated red color turned into a tint. You know, color plus white plus. Uh, but here, there is no color plus white. So what you could do is to make. Uh, the value one pronounced to make this vast look 3D or curved with different planes. You need to add some of this color with burnt sienna around this area. Fine, so this will give a 3D look to the entire piece. Now, talking about similar uh, the back, this element in the back and uh, the bowl here again the uh, the element is pushed way into back so not a lot of white light and whenever we talk about light light is never of white color either it will be yellow red uh, there will if it's a morning line there will be an influence of yellow red orange color and if it's an evening light then there will be influence of blue color so and don't add complete white highlights until and unless it's really really white like this one is I would say this is white highlight but this is not white highlight this has you can see little orange you can see little red and a little yellow so here now what you need to think is uh, you need to paint what you see but you need to paint what you know both things uh, both things should be there what you see and what you know. We know that the right source is warm. That's why the light won't be white. It will be a little warmer color. Uh, we know that this element is way in back. So we need to push it. We need to add color so that it pushes itself into the back. Now, uh, talking about the flowers, I think they are beautifully done. Uh, there is a... Uh, there is no uh, no change that I would suggest. Uh, I could feel the texture of the flowers, and I think it's beautifully done. If you, this is something which uh, uh, if you want to add more depth, what you could do is you can see the leaf is again uh, each petal is again divided into this is the light side and this is the shadow shadow side. So these are very fine details. So it's up to you whether you want to go into that much detail or not. Other than that, I think the flowers are looking good. You don't need any work on that. Now talking about uh, the fruits here. Again, the fruit is divided into this is the 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 bottom is the car shadow. This is the form shadow and then uh, middle tone and then there is highlight. So you need to work accordingly. This anything which is closer to the shadow side won't be this light. So this would be the form shadow. It ha it must have some brownish or uh, some dull effect. You can see there is a slight brown. The yellow is not as bright as you have added. So I think you are almost there. You are able to understand and paint and. Uh, beautifully and it's coming along I would say the painting is 80% complete for now uh, just few more details few more push and pull of 
values, the extreme values, extreme dark, extreme light is needed. Apart from that, I think you did a great job and uh, thank you for the hard work.